to today's live on Epa Television International. We're so glad that you could join us on today's edition of the show. But a quick question. What exactly is the meaning of life? Have you pondered on this question? What is the meaning of life? If life does not care about you, if life throws death at you, how do you find meaning in life? If the clock does not even wait for you, how do you find the meaning of life? A young man asked this question several years ago while interacting with his father. He said, how and what is the meaning of life? He tried education and at the end of the education, he realized that he is not fulfilled. He also tried building a house for himself and he still didn't find fulfillment. And he thought, maybe when I get married, I'm going to find fulfillment. He did. And indeed, he didn't find the meaning of life. He said he thought that when a child comes in, he will find happiness and there he will find the meaning of life. And behold, he had one, two, and even more. And still he was bothered about the meaning of life. And at that point, he got stuck with a lot of questions. He thought that maybe when he had a, a lot of investments that would fetch him more money, he's going to be happy because he's going to pay his bills and find the meaning of life. And his work, his investment took all, all of his time. He was barely having time to even rest or for his family. And at the end of the day, he lost his wife because she left because his presence was not felt at home. And his children went far away that they didn't care about his presence because they were used to his absence. And he returned home, he retired home with no family member. And he still asks the question, what exactly is the meaning of life? Rachel Tanzi, our August visitor, is seated. <laughs> <laughs> and Sambo Solomon Sabe, the regular. Mm -hmm. Jamima, Pastor Mrs. Good morning. Yeah, <laughs> they are all here to give perspective on a fulfilling life journey. So do this with us. We are live on Facebook and YouTube. Try to drop your comments on a fulfilling life journey. That's the topic of discussion. What exactly is it? So let's talk about fulfilling life journey. Like this young man, he tried a lot of things and it, it's apparent that he didn't find fulfillment. So, and this is a question that a lot of young people and even older people, some would, would, would sit young people, try to advise them about life generally. And the young man is still confused. Like what you said, I should talk this, but I did. And it looks like I'm getting more confused. But let's talk about life. Several times we, we, we discussed how life just throws death at you. And like life does not care. I went to school, I studied, I got a job, but the job is not even meeting my needs. Just mm -hmm. yesterday we were talking about how that we don't even exist to work and pay bills. So why sh should I work? There are a lot of questions about around meanings to life and then a fulfilling life journey. At what point do you say, yes, I have fulfilled a fulfilled life? start with the word the topic the question mm. you know um it's, 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 it's somebody can say it's relative mm. because what mm. fulfillment mm. means to me mm. it differ from True. what it means to True. to rachel or or uh jemima mm. but but in summary okay let me pick it from from my belief I would say is um, receiving Christ as your personal Lord and Savior mm. and then following his principle mm. because that's where you find full balance. Okay, that's for you? Or for me. Okay. For me. That's mm. why I say for me, let me start from where my belief is. Mm. You understand? Because I, you see, generally in life, uh, man is being designed in a such a way that he always wants more always want more so by just that desire of always want more and anything you see that is good you want mm. already you know it has uh taken someone off balance mm. there's no balance there but in christ that is where that contentment comes in mm. when you see when you get contentment that's where the balance comes from mm. and that's where you see in this in this topic you can't take away uh, the, the 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 issue of purpose in life mm. you know why why are you even living in the first place mm. do you know why you are being created mm. if you know the reason why you are being created it's from there then you trace your route to finding fulfillment in life 
because when you taught that part of the reason why you are created then that is where you find fulfillment no matter what life at the end of the day you know throw at you that's that's me how i see it so understanding this fact from the grassroots it helps you even as you face life in the future mm. you find this this issue that uh people today find it difficult to stand on their on their on their on their toes is because they are not even sure in the beginning like when okay i always give the example in, i'm using christianity when they will tell you that give your life to christ and then everything is settled it it's it's a wrong it to me is a good message but being passed in a wrong way permit me because i feel it should come with the total package of it yes where are you saying that when i receive christ my life will be settled because you to receive christ there is a consequence that come with it because if you receive christ he said people will hate you for me and then here somebody that doesn't even know christ and you are telling him my life is good is because Christ and you're just giving him you're just dashing him just that and so people will just hold just that because you said life is going to be everything will just turn around mm -hmm. and what is in mind like when you talk money mm -hmm. money is in account when you talk good house is there you know and the rest forgetting that some will even serve Christ and will not see this thing those things mm -hmm. you understand so imagine somebody coming with that and then receiving Christ just for that reason at the end of the day if god didn't like um work on that person personally like he had a personal having a personal encounter and then changing his mindset and his perspective mm -hmm. imagine those things not coming already is a frustration for him he will not even find that fulfillment mm -hmm. you know in that uh in that christ which he accepted mm -hmm. so if you look at life generally mm -hmm. you know somebody will just tell you if you read you read medicine and then at the end of the day you finish you got a job mm. and then your life would settle and then you finish you're hoping to get job maybe in one of the biggest hospital around here which is jude mm. the, the teaching hospital federal teaching hospital and then you struggle no job there and at the end of the day you end up working maybe in one of uh, a small hospital mm. it is difficult for someone because in the beginning this is what he's thinking but if you look at it differently that you are living to create impact the place of impact mm. cannot be small people don't understand that mm. place of impact cannot be small if you understand that and you know the reason why you are created wherever wherever you are mm. that place you can create impact and you will find fulfillment in that thing that you are doing that's just the way i see it yeah, it, it will feel like uh, to me is a journey where you get satisfaction mm. not just um satisfaction at the end of the tunnel mm. but satisfaction mm. even in the process mm. of what you're doing if you're living a life that there's no fulfillment mm. then you're practically an empty gong mm. Mm. you look big you look large you mm. look sophisticated but there's nothing inside full of noise yes <laughs> so for me having a fulfilled life starts from knowing your identity mm. like the purpose he talked about mm. having purpose knowing your identity. identity a lot of times people don't even know who they are mm -hmm. they don't know where they are coming from they don't even know where they are heading they are just wherever like you, you're the waiting wind. for life to happen to exactly you. Mm. yes <laughs> whatever happens you're just going to collect it like that mm. and move but when you have identity who am i what am I here for? Mm. Why am I um, why am I here? What am I supposed to do? What do I want? What are my values? What are my morals? What are my 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 my, my what is my character? What am I hoping to get? Mm. If you're able to answer these questions, mm. then you would be able to know where to head to. This young man you you spoke about, he 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 had to try different things. He tried the job, he tried marriage, he tried children and all of that. That goes a long way to tell us that all these things do not define life. Mm. They don't mean that you would have a fulfilled life. Mm. So there there is nobody that will have a job today and say he's he, he's deriving fulfillment from that job. Mm. 
a lot of times we have or we know people that have big jobs they are earning so much they seem so comfortable mm. but deep within them they are the only ones that know how empty they are inside of but them. But Solomon said it's relative. Jemima. Yes, yes, I, yes, I, yes. If it is yeah, relative, that's why I said so. there are people that will tell you that, let me just get this job. Mm. Mm-hmm. Let me just get, like, that's just all I want. For them, that's, that defines a fulfilled life journey. Mm. Like, I'm aiming this course I'm studying so that I can work at this place. And they, whatever they do in life is just to ensure the connection, the word mm. is to get there. So do you mean that when I finally get that job then you that realize worked, that so w- wouldn't I find fulfillment that this is what I've worked for, this is what I've dreamt of like finally I have it Isn't you can know, you can find fulfillment in that job. Yesterday we spoke about passion, right? Mm-hmm. Having passion to do something. Mm-hmm. So when you have that drive, that passion, that love, mm-hmm. even when you're there, you will not feel overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. Even when you're there, you will be able to balance between your career. Your, your career That's and your personal life. If your passion is there, mm-hmm. if your identity is there, if what you want to do is there, mm-hmm. then when you go there, you would find it. Mm-hmm. There are people that have uh, have gone to, 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 to do certain jobs and they find fulfillment mm-hmm. in that. They are mm-hmm. not pretending mm-hmm. like sincere fulfillment. Mm-hmm. They find it there. Mm-hmm. But there are others that want to do that. They want to go there to prove a point to someone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They want to go there to show that, okay, you thought I could not amount to anything. Now, see, I have amounted to something. Mm. So if you are doing that because of frivolous reasons, then trust me, you cannot even find fulfillment while you're here mm. before you get there. Mm. But if that is sincerely what you want, then whatever you do, even if it's in the children, you would find fulfillment mm. there. Even if it's in getting married, you will find fulfillment there. Mm. But then you, you, you can't just do what the world is doing. Mm. If the word says this is the trending thing, you shouldn't follow them. That is why you have to know your identity. Mm-hmm. What do you stand for? What do you want? Where are you going to? You know why? You know why I, I said that. that okay. Mm-hmm. You know why I said that because I know. Yesterday I gave the same example. Someone mm-hmm. that went to study accounting mm-hmm. and traveled as far as outside of the country, and then for people out there, that's fulfillment. Mm-hmm. Some people are saying, "Oh, this guy is fulfilled." Mm-hmm. Imagine he even went to study out there and then he got the job of his dream like it's, it's a hot cake you talk about accounting ah he's an accountant mm. even though some people are saying they're living in past glory mm. <laughs> but <laughs> like y- you understand <laughs> but he he was not fulfilled mm-hmm. there was a different career path there's something else that god wanted him to do mm. and then he left the accounting line and he said i want to be a missionary mm. for other people out there that's not fulfillment mm. but for him he was really happy mm. that mm. this is what i want to do mm. and i still mentioned yesterday that there are doctors as well that will say see i no longer i don't want to work in this hospital do a very big mm-hmm. hospital a national hospital but i want to go there and give free services mm. i want to see people getting healed i want to help them with and for them that so there are there are parts there are jobs that people dream of and they get there that they fulfill purpose. Mm. Some of those Solomon was saying earlier that it's about purpose. Mm. So if you find, I'm, I'm just saying that there are, there are career paths that you're passionate about. Mm. You are, like that is your own purpose. Mm. You find fulfillment in mm. it for me. Mm. But I don't know, Rachel, our August visitor, if mm. you've been in that situation where you think like, wh- what exactly is the meaning of life? I've seen a lot of young people that would just say, see, they've committed suicide. Like some young ladies will say, ah, let me just get somebody that will love me sincerely. Mm. And then they find that person, but eventually um, the relationship becomes toxic. Mm. And then every th- it's just about arguments. Mm. Or let me just get this job. And then a colleague or a boss or a, a superior is making it frustrating. Though I love this job, but so... Mm. What, what exactly is the meaning of life? Some is investment and then they just mm-hmm. lost mm-hmm. everything and they mm-hmm. are like, I, I saved mm-hmm. after all I did and I just wake up to hear that, oh, my container has been seized, the the bank has been shut down, the investment house has gone oh, down fire. and all of that. Mm-hmm. Or I, I just wake up and I am being fired. Mm-hmm. So, I think let me just take my life. But I don't know if you've thought about the meaning of life and then how how can one find that? Okay, so I, I want to take the whole thing of fulfillment from like many, many different dimension. Mm. And I hope that I don't end up confusing myself, you and the <laughs> viewers <laughs> out here. But okay. we are covered with the <laughs> 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 No <Okay>. confusion. <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> so I, I think I, I want to first start saying that until you're doing what nobody is doing, you will never be fulfilled. Mm. Because everything we have mentioned is what everybody is doing. Mm. Is it a degree, three degrees, four masters, mm. emeritus, and all of that? Mm. There's somebody that already have mm. it. And whether we like it or not, we are chasing what every other person is chasing. Mm. That's why just from your story, mm. one car wasn't enough. Mm. It's mm. three cars. Two houses were not enough mm. because you know what? He's looking at someone with five cars. Mm. And you know, I need to get to five cars. Mm. Whether we like it or not, that is a general life. Mm -hmm. Is it giving birth to children? People are giving birth to children okay. every day. Mm. I, I keep saying it that until it's what your purpose is what nobody is doing. True. Your purpose is not a job because everybody has a job. Mm -hmm. Forget the unemployment rate in the world. We still have billions of people um, employed. Mm. Forget you think you're not yet married, but a lot of people are getting married every Saturday. Mm -hmm. if, it, if it was your purpose, nobody will be getting married. Mm -hmm. You'll be the only person. Mm -hmm. And then I want to take it both from the spiritual angle because not just in Christianity, every religion, every culture has the spiritual side to it. Mm -hmm. And one, one of that is afterlife. Mm -hmm. And I want to believe that apart from the fact that you can only find fulfillment if what you're doing, you're the only one doing it, meaning that is your purpose. Mm -hmm. You have taken the time to find out that this is what I have been planted on this earth to do. That is, if you're religion in Christianity, we believe that God has created us for a purpose. Mm. Now, finding that purpose, even if it's just sweeping your church, mm. you know that God told you this is it. You're going to be a very fulfilled individual, even if you don't have a car, mm. if you even, do, even if you don't have a degree, mm. even if you never get married. Mm -hmm. People will see you smiling every single day, mm. being happy, never aging, because you're where you want to be. Mm. Now, I also believe that a fulfilled life is a life that you can immortalize in a way. Now, when, when we look at the electric bulb, we see Edison. Mm. And that's because he, had tr he tried over 100 times. Mm. And now we have electric bulb. Mm. Now, this person, whether we like it or not, is an immortal. He is in his afterlife. I believe we, we all have souls and all of that. Mm. And his name is con like the whole world knows him. And the world will forever know him until mm. the world finishes. Mm. It's the same way that, okay, Rachel found her purpose. And from generation to generation that will come, mm. your family knows that this is what you have done for them. Some stranger knows that this is what you've done for them and they have passed it out mm. because they passed it on rather. Now, even in heaven or wherever you find yourself mm. after life, you're looking down and you are moving on. I believe that this is a fulfilled life. It's always doing what nobody is doing. You're seated here and what people fail to understand is that until you sit down and you tell yourself, even if I have all the expensive things in the world, if I am not doing what I am meant to be doing, what will make me happy, I will not be fulfilled. Mm. And because that is why we, we just, we, we find people, um, you think they have it all, mm. and yet they are depressed, mm -hmm. or yet they are committing suicide. Because we have a situation where mm -hmm. we see people, we think, ah, this person is supposed to have it mm -hmm. all. He's earning well. I'm here with my with my wage and it's not up to that person. In fact, 100 times it will not reach. Mm. And you wonder, why is this person depressed? So for me, I want to say the two things is always purpose. What is that thing that I, I am doing? And I always say that purpose is what you are doing and nobody else is doing it. And I, I can use that example to the men of God we have there. For example, there are those that God has called them into relationship. There are those that have called them to heal people from trauma. There are those that God have called them. Regardless of the many, many, I believe that the true ones that are called out there with the purpose have a dimension they take that nobody teaches it better than them. 
And it doesn't matter even if in the field where we are now, what angle do I bring that Jemima cannot bring that angle except where she's coming from, where Joyce mm. is coming from. Mm. And until we realize mm. that your fulfillment will come from what you're doing that nobody else is doing because that is particular to you, mm. I don't think we'll ever be fulfilled. I have a we'll question, just keep Richard. chasing life. Okay, I have a question and this is it. Because, you know, the, the talk about purpose is one that a lot of young people are confused about. Yes. Like, we're always told, find purpose. We're always told, work in purpose. Yeah. Like, but how can one find that purpose? How can I tell that the path that I'm touring is, is, is the path of purpose? A lot of young people are confused about, okay, what defines purpose? Oh, yeah. you, you, when you read books, when you read, you attend seminars, all of that, you hear about purpose, finding purpose. But will, uh, will purpose just show up and say, this is me, follow no, me? <laughs> and you just said, you mentioned something right uh, now about until you do what nobody else is doing. Now, there are people that are into fashion line or we are presenters here. Mm -hmm. Of course, Abu Sinopo is a presenter. Jemima is a presenter. Yes. There are other presenters working in other yes. uh, television station or radio station. Mm. And if I'm thinking of it in the direction of what nobody else is doing, mm -hmm. of course, there are a lot of people that have been there doing are before a lot me. Of people, so yes. what makes... Does that mean that I'm not working in purpose since there are other people that are doing it? Mm. I'm a preacher or I'm an evangelist or I've decided to be a missionary. Before me, there are a lot of missionaries mm. out there. Mm. So what makes me taking this decision uh, uh, to be fulfilling or to be purpose since if somebody is doing it and I'm doing it, it's, it's not... Um, purpose like i just need clarity on that because mm -hmm. there are a lot of people yeah. too that will be mm -hmm. maybe had your line saying that Say except you do what nobody Maybe. does you are not and the person is not asking that ah but i have Oga that is already doing this and he's mm -hmm. teaching 10 of us mm -hmm. this thing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'm in school in my class we are 200 and mm -hmm. we're studying mass communication mm -hmm. everybody's doing it exactly. a story was told of a young man that went to write post me and then immediately he got to the university and they were about to address them and he said all of you that are here for this examination are about 1,000 um, so, so so number. And the guy just shouted, ah, we are about 1,000 plus. Mm. How will I get this? Mm -hmm. He decided to go. Mm. He gave up that he will not get the admission mm. if already there are mm. 1,000 1, plus. Mm. He, he will not get. So, so in, at this point, I'm in class studying mass communication with 200 students. Mm. Does that mean I'm not on a path of purpose because mm -hmm. every other person is here to study mass comm? Maybe you mm. need to clarify that. I think you're on a path of occupation and mm. career. Mm. It's not necessarily purpose. That, that's why I clearly said that our purpose don't always have to be big things. Mm. We, we, always, we always take it as big things, that they have to be big. Mm. And Joyce, your purpose could just be that God has planted you on this earth mm. to just help the elderly. Mm. You can be a career woman. You are the CEO of this and that and that. But the real purpose mm. is that there's those old elderly people in your community mm -hmm. that God wants you to reach them. I want to take our purpose out of career. Mm. And I've also, I've also battled... But can one find purpose in the career? Yes, yes. yes. you can. Yeah. You can. Mm. Um, but I just want to end, like widen our like scope mm. or our horizon, yeah, if that's the word, yeah. concerning what purpose is. Mm. Then I, okay, you asked, uh, how do people, because I've also battled with what purpose mm. is. Mm. And for me, thank God I've already found it. And I know that <laughs> even if I build a mansion tomorrow and I don't do that thing, I'll never be fulfilled, mm. right? It's already out there for me. Mm. And it starts with passion. Mm -hmm. And then a burden mm -hmm. that even 20 years later, you can't stop thinking about it. Mm -hmm. It's there in your heart for a reason. And then you have to realize that it's not you that even put it there in the first mm -hmm. place. Mm -hmm. Because when you were probably 10 years old mm -hmm. and your, your, your mates were um, playing pretend of getting married and they're dreaming about other things. For example, mm -hmm. you were they're dreaming about doing something else. Mm -hmm. And I think we need help in life. And these are some of the gaps that it is really missing mm -hmm. when we want to when we we want to help like children or mm -hmm. come and i and i believe that we are younger generation so we have the opportunity to help our children like better than the help we were not able to get mm -hmm. i i believe that is passion mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. and you hardly find people with the same passion like mm-hmm. passion that thing no just mm-hmm. like our fingerprints are different that's the way our thought is mm-hmm. so you can start with your passion yes. then secondly what is that burden what's that thing you are seeing that nobody is seeing what is that what is that gap that only you because we are not the same mm-hmm. we we can't be the same that's how we are designed mm-hmm. i believe that is one of the easiest way concerning purpose and, and i just want to help us that you know what it's not career mm-hmm. it is not profession mm-hmm. it's not school it's not the point you can be very very successful but you're fulfilled like the real thing that will make you die happy and smile in your grave mm-hmm. is that thing probably or possibly completely out of your career mm. and then it's very possible if only we can dig down and say what is this burden that has been in my heart for 20 years mm. what was that thing that as a, as a child i'm not even supposed to be thinking of that i should be thinking of biscuit and sweet mm. but it's in my heart and mm. i believe that it's, it's one step and then if we are able to eventually mm. go to the spiritual level where god mm. can tell you do this then you're lucky enough if you're not lucky but if you build yourself spiritually to mm-hmm. get to the level where god can instruct you mm-hmm. then good but we can start from the very normal mm-hmm. po- place of passion and things in our you heart. know for me the take home is passion mm-hmm. and then the burden the yes burden, yeah. you know i know of a man that works with central bank mm-hmm. and for everybody out there you know a lot of times people see that when you get to this level in your career you are fulfilled mm-hmm. but for him that was not his his that was not fulfilled like life for him mm-hmm. he served in the church as an usher mm-hmm. you will see him cleaning chairs mm-hmm. like i mean he's the top management staff of the central bank but his passion is not in just signing those documents mm-hmm. but singing in the choir mm-hmm. and then yeah. serving people mm-hmm. so up and above the profession mm-hmm. yeah. up and above your career mm-hmm. Up and above what every other person is doing is the burden mm. in your heart. Mm. There are times that you keep saying, hi. There are people that will say, there are some old women in the village. I need to, I need to, I need to. Like you've not done it, yeah. but you can't sleep mm. because yes. you're thinking of those old women. Mm. Sometimes you're seated in the church and you're like, ah, this, this place is dirty. I could give in my service. It can be an act of kindness. Mm. Like a fulfilling life is far above the mansion, the cars. Mm. And no wonder someone said, you you, can't, you don't know the amount of depression mm. and mm. drugs that is taking place in that mansion you mm. are married. Mm-hmm. Yes. A fulfilling mm. life journey is is above acquiring material things. And mm. no wonder King mm. Solomon said, all these things are vanity yes. upon mm. vanity. True. Because a fulfilling life journey is in you identifying who you are. Mm. And like we, we rightly mentioned, what is my purpose? Mm-hmm. What does God wants me to do? Mm-hmm. Identify who you are. It's not in you doing what your neighbor or your colleague is doing. And yeah. that's why a lot of times we miss it. Mm-hmm. People just look at people from the outside and feel that that's a fulfilled life and mm-hmm. I must do the same thing. Mm-hmm. Yes. And that is why you do the same thing and you're still not you're happy. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then your friend just got married and you're like, ah, she's happy. Oh, see a fulfilled mm-hmm. life journey. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let me get married. And you get married and you're thinking of getting out. Mm-hmm. You're still not fulfilled. Mm-hmm. So a lot of works that, that, that goes a long way to tell us that fulfillment is not all about the big things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you find fulfillment just in the little yeah. tiny things mm-hmm. that people some people don't even pay attention yes. to. Mm-hmm. See the example she gave. He found fulfillment in just serving, yeah. cleaning, mm-hmm. singing. True. But in his office, he is the top mm-hmm. person mm-hmm. that is being respected. Mm-hmm. If it's about money, he doesn't have a problem mm-hmm. with that. Yeah. Someone mm-hmm. like that should not even want to serve because he's always being served. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he finds fulfillment he's just serving in others. serving others. Mm. And that goes a long way to tell us that when you're looking for fulfillment, don't just think about the mighty and big things. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I want to get married to the richest man. Mm. No, I want to have a mm. job at mm. this place. No, you should sit down mm. and really be sober, asking yourself questions, poking questions, mm-hmm. questions that will really pierce you. And just like Rachel said initially, it drops a burden in your heart. Mm. Even when you pretend and say, oh, let me just forget about it. Years later, mm-hmm. you it will continue to come back to your mind. Mm-hmm. And then um, we should avoid procrastination as yeah. well. Yeah. Because for a body to be in your heart for 20 <laughs> years, what were you <laughs> doing <laughs> for the whole 20 years? So as mm-hmm. much as you see something repeating itself give it attention Mm -hmm. sit down and think ask yourself questions and go for it the Mm -hmm. earlier you start being happy 
mm-hmm. the better for better, you yeah. than being happy at old age. You mm-hmm. can start gradually mm-hmm. and always have fulfillment in all the things you do. Okay. To, to add to what you said, y- y- you see, <coughs> I'm, uh, I'm so happy because the way she separated the two, mm-hmm. you know, the issue of career mm-hmm. and then the issue of um, 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 the passion mm-hmm. and then purpose, purpose mm-hmm. and body. You see, s- some people, you know, find um, find their purpose early in life. Yeah. Yeah. Early in life True. in the sense that some, they are just lucky. Mm-hmm. You know, everything about them, that's how God designed. And you can't ask him. Yeah. You can't ask True. him. That's how God designed. Some, God will allow you to go s- through mm-hmm. certain process yes. because he wants to groom you. Mm-hmm. True. Because he believes you. You are not you are not ripe at the early stage. Mm-hmm. You are not somebody yes. that can handle. He knows you because he's mm-hmm. the one that created you. Yeah. So you allow you go certain through training, meeting people in mm-hmm. life, mm-hmm. and at the end of the day, you 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 now get yes. the, the 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 real track, mm-hmm. and then you start from there. Mm-hmm. So I- I- if you see that, you will know that um, uh, we we are not allowed to just see people and just see Rachel, mm-hmm. and then say okay because rachel is doing good here mm. then i would just say okay let I me tell that part maybe mm-hmm. that's yes. that's my 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 purpose mm-hmm. because what she's doing i'm just copying mm-hmm. you you understand and then if you look at it uh some people god allowed them to go through certain uh things in life in the name of career mm. because sometimes you need god will will put a burden in you the that passion will be there yeah but there is nothing to execute it. So he will allow you to achieve certain you things. You need a learning platform. Learning platform. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then he will allow you to go through it to gather what you will mm-hmm. power yes. that particular uh, 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 burden that he put in your heart. Mm-hmm. And that is why you will find, like the example you gave, CEOs, left, right, center. And you will find them doing little things in the community. Mm-hmm. If you ask me, what's it, what about the fulfillment mm-hmm. that we are talking about in life? Mm-hmm. It's about serving. It's about serving. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you take serving, you are just you are just existing, mm-hmm. because we are mean we are created to serve. True. Look at it from all angles. We are created to serve. So the moment in your life you are not serving mm-hmm. genuinely, mm-hmm. if you are not serving genuinely, the reason why I say serving genuinely because some people they are just doing it for their own selfish reason. Mm-hmm. They pretend as if they are serving people, mm-hmm. but they are gathering traffic for themselves. Mm-hmm. That is why any little kindness, any little whatever, mm. you know, it's all over. Like I read something, you know, someone did something, he renovated um, um, an orphanage. Mm. And then some people were like, if to say is so, so, so person, mm. media people would have been all over. Mm. But look at it. He's just quiet about it. Mm. Do you get? So, so these are some of the things that are happening. Some people just do some kind of service to humanity just to trap attention not really they understood the reason why they are mm-hmm. created mm-hmm. because we are created for each other yeah i am to serve you you are to serve us so at the end of the day you find that we are all serving each other mm-hmm. but but people don't understand it yeah. this so it is very important to know that so so people you know god will, will, will make you today to be a guru in this field mm-hmm. and god will make you tomorrow to have your place but in having your place as as a as a communicator mm. in the industry, mention one or two, three people, your name is being mentioned. Mm. But there is something that you are doing differently in your community that is totally different from your mm. career. Mm. And, and, and that is and that is the calling. Yes. And yeah. then having a fulfilled life, picking mm. from what you said, mm. I think it's for you. Having a fulfilled life yes. is for you. It's, it's, for you. it's you. not for mm. people. Yes. No, it's not. Yes. So, so, so about um, people seeing what you did, mm. having mm. photographs all around on social media. Mm. Oh, I did this. I renovated here. I built mm. here. It's not for people. Mm. It is for you because if you are fulfilled, it doesn't mean people have to be fulfilled. Mm. It is you. Once you are fulfilled, that is all that matters. Mm. A lot of times um, in our churches, we hear people saying, okay, there's this need. This need needs to be met. This one need. And then you just hear that the need has been met. Mm. You don't hear a name. The person mm. just say, okay, and yeah. it's someone like, said he doesn't want you. his name mm. mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. My yeah. name should not be mentioned anywhere. And a lot of people, 
Mm. So who is it? Mm. That is a fulfilled yeah. life. You don't even want to be mentioned. Mm. So it's not about what people would say that you did, mm. but it's about you being fulfilled, being satisfied, mm. and feeling happy. There was this man I knew when I was small. He was um he was wealthy. Like he was really mm. wealthy. And for every time there was always a need in church, there was little or nothing that was done. Mm. And it was on his dying bed that he had to like, okay, send this money, let them put chairs in the church, mm. send this money. They were they were announcing hi- the need for him books some months ago. Buy as many as you need, renovate this, do that. So like you had all of this right mm. all time. Yeah. And I'm sure there was this nudge mm. in your heart. Mm. Do it. You have it. Do it. So why did mm-hmm. you procrastinate? So it goes a long way to tell us that being fulfilled, the moment that need comes to you, do mm. something yeah. about mm. it. Even when you cannot do something, ab- there was always something little, even if it has to do with just prayer or something, talking to someone or doing something, do something about it. And don't feel like, okay, because... Um, I have advanced in age. There's no point for me to. Mm. See, it's better late than never at all. Mm. So at any point mm. in time that you feel you need to achieve this form mm. of fulfillment, do it. You know and, w- and, w- and when you talk yeah. about, uh, um, y- you see, some t- sometimes you talk about little. Mm. In the eyes of men, that is when it's little. Yes. Mm-hmm. But if it's your purpose, mm. yeah. is that what God mm. wants you? It's not small. Mm. So just do it. As long as, there's a, yes, mm. as long as there's that urge, there's, God is telling you, do this, do this. And, 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 and that's the reason why I led this prayer. I, I always try to pray this prayer. Mm. I say, if there is anything mm. in me mm. that is not mm. my own, Father sees my peace. Mm. Because that's the reason why I'm created. Yeah. Because there is something that is in me that is not for me. Mm. I'm just a custodian. Mm. So sometimes we are this greedy that we hold it. We are not even using it. Mm -hmm. It can just be advice, not really material things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But you are holding it. Mm -hmm. God is saying, this is what I put into you. Just go and tell this person. Mm -hmm. Because Mm -hmm. that's what will change the person's mindset at that moment. Mm -hmm. And you are holding yourself. You are not going. Mm -hmm. Or you have something at home that you are not using. Is not meant for you mm. from the mm. onset. Mm. You are just a custodian. Mm. And God has put it in your heart and say, this thing, give this body. This, this, the, give this, thing, give this, some, this person. Mm. But you are holding. You are holding. And the moment you just obey, that's when you just find peace. Mm. And I say, God, if I can ask and say, God, send a, what do they, how do they normally put this prayer? Is it a helper? A help, Destiny, yeah. helper. Destiny, Destiny helper. Destiny helper. <laughs> you know, always we like yeah. praying that that prayer. <laughs> Don't let, forget let that, that you too, you <laughs> are yeah, a Destiny helper. It got to a point that it was violent. See, yeah. Destiny helper, if you allow <laughs> me to locate you. <laughs> if you don't locate me, if you allow me to not be funny. Yes. So, so you find out those purpose that we had. Those little things that once you just do, you will just find peace. And you will just find, like, you don't feel like eating. You are just okay. You are just happy. People are just wondering. Mm. These are some of the things that we are saying. Mm. These are the calling that the reason why we are being created. And, so and, and, I, and I would just like to um, talk about a little bit on career fulfillment. If, mm. if you are taking, if this career is your, you feel or you thought at first that this is my road to fulfillment or you are the type of person that you know what is through this career that I'll be fulfilled. Mm-hmm. And it's just for me to still go the direction saying that uh, until you're doing what nobody is doing. Mm-hmm. And I'd just like to make several, um, for example, examples rather, um, linking it to different kinds of career. Mm-hmm. You sit down and you realize, for example, one of the greatest uh, um, 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 inventions or medical research and then what we have is insulin, for example, for diabetic patients and all of that. Mm. And then you wonder and sat down, this is somebody who probably had a vision that one day we could treat diabetes this way. One day we could have a device for people struggling with one heart dysfunction or another. Mm. You sit down, you look into the future and say, if I do this research, I will be able to come up with this that could aid somebody with a lung disease that could help a cancer patient that could help um a, someone with brain injury and all of that and you find yourself venturing into medicine 
to be able to bring the vaccine for polio, to be able to bring the cure for HIV, to be able to do one thing or that. And then we can also bring it down to education. Mm -hmm. You see yourself and you say, okay, you know what? There are going to be students that are suffering with ADH or one or with autism and all of that. And then you tell yourself, okay, I can be able to study this and know that and bring out a material that will help these people with learning um, um, disadvantage to be able to learn at a fast pace. Oh, we can even talk about Braille, like who came up with it? I am blind, but you know what? Blind people too need to read. Mm. And then you came up with a way that they can read. And then we can see so many technological ad advancements mm. and all of that. And even in media, like who came up with teleprompters and mm. say, you know what? Mm. Um, I, I don't like the way reporters are reading from their papers. If we can come up with this, and it's just for me to just keep pinpointing those mm -hmm. little, little things that you are doing that is unique to you. That's mm -hmm. why those invention, it will come out and it's your name behind it because you sat down, you had a vision, you had a, you, you're in an accounting department, for example, and you say this balance sheet, what if it's being done this way or that way? Accounting will be easier and faster. And before you know it, you bring a method to your office and everybody adopts it. And before you know it, things are changed and you are fulfilled. Why? Because you were able to find yourself mm. in a space mm. that you made life better for people career-wise mm. and then you know what it can go on we, mm. we can talk about mm. that for cosmetics we can talk about that for beauty mm. we can talk about mm. what joys always makes like mm. somebody thought us that you know what mm. there are a lot of people that have sensitive um scalp mm. they cannot do this regularly they can if mm. we come up with this this makes their life easier and you're a beautician or a, co a, a cosmetologist and then you came up with something unique that has changed the life of somebody mm -hmm. and you're fulfilled automatically because I am the reason that somebody is able to access this and all of that. So I, I, for me, I'm just trying to get the emphasis on a fulfilled life is always doing the unique thing. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not just the general thing. Mm -hmm. It's that tiny change that you brought that was unique to you, a burden, a passion, a vision mm. that you took your time and you dedicated life towards it. And then eventually others are benefiting from it. And that's where you become immortal. Mm. That's the other dimension that I try to, and then you're, you live on mm. and then you are also happier. You know, it, I, I would it, like um, to Rachel, it, it, it can be something that someone is doing. But you are doing it uniquely. Yes, mm. yes, you, yes. You understand. Mm. Because somebody can be taking care of like 1,000 widows mm -hmm. in his own way. Mm -hmm. And you can be taken care of too mm -hmm. in your own in little your, uh, way. Yes, and yes, you find yes, yes. fulfillment in it's it. It's all yeah. taken it, care it, of. It's widows. all taken mm -hmm. care of. And then it, in summary, I would just say, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's about solving problems. Mm -hmm. yeah. No matter how big or small mm -hmm. it yeah. is, mm -hmm. if you can solve a problem, mm -hmm. I think you find fulfillment without Just seeking the appraisal of with, people. With, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. Mm -hmm. you know, there's a hymn that says, um, "What would you be remembered for?" Mm. Like, only rem we're only going mm. to be remembered by mm. what we, we have, have done. done. Mm. So, for me, I, I I see that a fulfilled life journey is not about me and about my needs. Mm -hmm. Like, there are times mm. that we just we just live just to meet our needs. Mm -hmm. Like I said yesterday, we are not existing to work and pay our bills mm -hmm. but you th there's a purpose for your creation and basically it's impact so it's not about me but it's about others mm. you need to think generosity mm. what can i do to ease pain to ease stress on mm. people? people what can i far beyond yourself but you see when you walk for example if, if you check our climb now um our work takes almost m half or more than half of our time mm. daily. Mm. So think about yourself engaging in a work that you don't find meaning in it. Yeah. So it mm. is like you living a life that is not fulfilled. Mm. Yeah, though you get paid, you're able to meet your bills, but deep within you, there's no fulfillment. Why? Because you don't find meaning in that. Mm -hmm. And that's why we talked earlier on about passion. Mm. If I work, if I pick a career path that I'm passionate about, mm. regardless of my pay, regardless yeah. of when and how it comes, like I'm happy. What mm. the happiness is coming from the impact, from the solution mm. that I'm bringing, bringing in. Sometimes you just hear somebody say, oh, "Wow, I watched you earlier, and I'm, I'm really touched." I was. You are happy mm. because you are able to speak to somebody's problem, yes. or you're able to meet someone's mm. need. You see, that's a fulfilled life. 
Mm. Though someone out there is thinking that, no, you are fulfilled because you are paid in millions. Mm -hmm. But for you, your satisfaction, your driving force is the people out there that mm. are blessed. Mm. Is the people out there that are helped not to turn the wrong path. True. That is what you find fulfillment in doing. And that's why I see it, it's not really about you. Mm. When you check out history and the people we talk about mm. that are no more, mm. yeah. it's because of the impact that they have made. Mm. Uh, made. Mm. Okay, think about the people that acquired all the wealth and then nobody around them felt the impact. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Think about even their bearer, how people just just talk uh, down on such mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Like this person was a wicked person, this person mm -hmm. was this, they are though rich and all the ceremony mm -hmm. is being done, but people are just doing it for formality. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you can see someone that, ah, so he, he lived selfless or she lives mm -hmm. selfless. Their lives are about people. Imagine being paid and you just, you just give it to them, share it to them. Like, that's fulfillment for mm. some people. That's where they find purpose. They're putting a smile on somebody's yeah. face. Mm. And that's why someone can just sit and say, I help me identify 50 orphanage. Mm. I have this, this, and this for them. Mm. That's fulfillment. Mm. Like, what will I do with all this? Exactly. My joy is to see that somebody is happy. Yeah. Mm. And that is why somebody would decide, let me just have an orphanage here. Mm. Let me just have a, 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 a system where I can support mm. certain people. We've seen individuals philanthropists that will say, oh, I want to pay for 20 students WAEC fees. Mm. I want mm. to, can you help me identify 50 students from this local community? Like, I want to do this for them. Let finding purpose and fulfillment be about making impact. Mm. Mm. And, I, and I, that's why I said you can, maybe you have been on the wrong path. Mm. It's yes. not late. It's mm -hmm. not. It's not. Maybe you have been living in confusion. Mm. It's not late. You can retract your steps. Some of us were there before. Like I said, Talk about about purpose is one that has left a lot of young people confused. Yeah. Sometimes your friends will tell you, see, guy, if we told this, we go make him, mm -hmm. and you're heading this way. Yes. Tomorrow, your mom is telling you that I would like you to go to school, study her so that you can be this and make me proud. Mm -hmm. And you go to school and you're struggling to make it. And mm -hmm. within you, you're also thinking that I'm good at this. Mm -hmm. But my mom is saying, go to school. My friend is saying, let's jap her. Mm -hmm. And you're confused about life. And then just when you're about to make decision, you see somebody that decides to study like just before he finished, he's killed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or he finished, he got the job, he's, sa he's not employed. Mm -hmm. And then you're thinking like, so what's the essence? You, you hear a lot of young people say, you know, like I always say the inspiration, the mm -hmm. motivation mm -hmm. for people that didn't go to school is to see people that went to school unemployed. Of course. And they, <laughs> 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 yes, so what's yes, the essence? Yes. You have been telling me to go to school, <laughs> see this one. You hear True. children telling their parents, mm -hmm. you have been disturbing him to go to school. This one that went to school and graduated mm. first class, mm. did he get job? Mm. A father mm. called his son wasted investment. Mm. That boy <laughs> suffered in the hands of his dad. Mm. Mm. Each time he passed, wasted investment. <laughs> Each time he picks his plate to eat food, oh wasted God. investment. Ah. It, there was a day the guy picked his his dad's silpas to just get something he wore it. When the father saw him from the shop, he was <laughs> insulting him. <laughs> Wasted investment. And he will begin to act and do <laughs> things like a wasted investment. Yeah, because investment. the father said, mm. if he had known, he wouldn't have invested in his education mm. because mm. he did. The guy graduated with first class, mm. but he was unemployed. Mm. And he kept applying for but but he didn't get the job. So each time the father said, well, he's pained. His fault. The father is pained. <laughs> he, he doesn't care because in his head, his plan was that, I will train my, you know, th those mentalities mm. that when yeah. you send your child to school and your child is done, mm. he'll come back, he'll be rich, mm. and then he'll take care of you. It's just like those that will say, ah, B, we don't have lawyers in mm. our family who just yeah. uh, uh, help <laughs> us get one. Mm. And then your child will finish and he will look for chambers to even <laughs> be an intern he will not get. <laughs> and you look at him and just say, see how you wasted. Mm. So for some people, it's their motivation. Mm. Though they want to take this part, but they will see other people and they will say, I cannot, not knowing that everybody has his or her purpose. Yeah. Your timing is not same with mm. mine. I cannot use Rachel's clock to time mm. myself. Yes. And that's where a lot of young people missed it. Mm. Just that we went to the same school does not mean that that's how our life will continue no. to be. A Yoruba Adi says that, that 20 children played while they were small does not mean they will continue playing mm, for the next 20 years. Oh, so everybody has his chapter. Mm. Everybody has his root. Mm. But each time we keep comparing and contrasting mm. our life and other people, mm. you can go to school and finish like 10 years after somebody that finished after you can be ahead of you. Mm. It, shouldn't, it shouldn't mean that you use his own life of to judge your own and say mm. that God has abandoned you. Mm. There's something like you rightly said earlier on, God might be grooming you 
for something yeah. bigger. We've seen people that though it looked like their their journey was delayed, mm. Mm. but when God picked on their case, mm. like it was like they who is fast forwarding this person's <laughs> life? Mm. You understand? But yeah. what is more important is for you to identify purpose. Mm. See, God, why did you create me? Mm create time, spend time, like why am I created? Mm. What is my identity? Rachel, I shouldn't find my identity on that no, Rachel. Sambo Solomon should not determine what my identity no. is. Mm. In fact, even my parents should not determine yeah. my identity. That I'm from a godly family does not mean you must be godly. We've seen that. Mm. That's from you are from an ungodly family does not mean you should be ungodly. Mm. There are children that grew up seeing their parents as native doctors. But they decide I'm going to accept Christ. Yes. I've seen this uncle. I've seen that this God is serving like that's the right mm. decision. And mm. they decided to be this. Mm. When we sit with some of our parents and hear their stories, the homes they grew up, mm. but they decided that they will not talk the same path. Same path. And their parents are godly and they are spared, invested in their children. But the children decided they are mm. sick. Yeah. Me, I'll be wayward though. Mm-hmm. I'll yeah, be that, responsible. That's, that's, that's the reason why you see some pastors that have been mocked mm. because yes. of their children. Yes. And you know the good the thing about Christianity and the yes. scripture, you have the right to choose. And mm. that's why Joshua yeah. says, for me and yeah. my house. Yeah. Yeah. But you yeah. will not forget that in the end, mm-hmm. in Revelation, you say, know that whatever choice you make, oh, mm. if you follow the, if you are going the right mm. path, go. If you choose the wrong path, but there's judgment. Ecclesiastes mm. have said it. There's that judgment. Whatever you want to do, mm-hmm. just feel free. Yes. Mm. Feel free. Do mm. it. If you want to be master of wickedness, mm. he said, mm. ju- just go ahead. <laughs> just feel free. Mm. Do it. Mm. If you want to be good, just do it. Mm. But just know that mm. at mm. the end, mm. <laughs> you will give account. True. And at that end, mm. definitely, you will have the full bucket mm-hmm. of the reward <laughs> that you are supposed to get, you so know, you whether do negative, by doing good do or well, doing bad. An so account you, well. An account well, You know, definitely. sometimes I really and used to think how that people are just mean. I know that the Bible has already stated that clearly that the heart of man is desperately wicked. Yeah. Think about somebody that is finding fulfillment in his job or finding his purpose there or trying to make impact. And then somebody is being deliberate about frustrating mm. that mm. effort. Mm. Like, in the end, it, it was King Solomon that said, all these things are vanity upon mm. vanity. Mm. You're not going with them. Mm. Like, nobody knows tomorrow. Mm. It was the rich man in the Bible that said, see, I will marry after harvest. And I mm. will marry. Mm. But God is saying this night, I will take your life. Mm. So all the evil you are plotting against your fellow man, mm. who told you that you will see tomorrow? Mm. Like, sometimes I, I, I just wish that people would think about life not caring about you. Mm. If people can just see that, see, it's not even in your hands. So why do I have to spend time plotting evil against another mm. instead of living? You, you, you mentioned earlier on that fulfillment is relative. Mm. For somebody, killing another is fulfillment. Mm. There are people that plan day and night to just see people's downfall. Mm. They call them PhDs. Mm. Mm. They want to pull him down. Mm. That's all they plot. That's all when they sit down with their clique and their gangs. Mm. All they do is to see how that they will bring people down. Like, what will it benefit you? Mm. If for you, a fulfilled life is to su- see somebody go down, mm. of what benefit? Mm. The years that you ended will not be added to you. Mm. When your time reach, you will go. Mm. Yeah. There are times that people kill people that you are wondering, his wealth cannot even go to you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It would not. Did, did Why would you do that? Didn't you hear people saying, I will frustrate her yeah, life yes. until mm. she leaves or yes. until she dies? Mm. Or until he leaves or mm. until he dies? Mm. Some people are just being deliberate. Mm. And you know, uh, we were just saying, and somebody said, you see, this Christianity is not easy. Mm. You know, because we have good at the bad, mm. right? Mm. You know, and then some people deliberately choose mm. the bad side. Mm. And they really want to walk there. Mm. So they said, as long as the, uh, so far Jesus is looking for good people mm. to walk with them to create that impact that he wants in the world, mm. the devil is looking for serious, wicked people too yeah. mm. to do his service. Mm. So even the two part, they are not looking for lazy people. Mm. That's why it's not easy to be a true Christian, mm. and it's not easy to be a, a oh, real unbeliever. <laughs> unbeliever. Because that's the reason why, if they do certain things, mm. you marvel, mm. you'll be like you mean a human being can do this? Yeah. It's because you are standing on the other side. Mm. He doesn't care. That's why he finds full free men. Mm. But like the Ecclesiastes say, just go ahead. Mm. Just do. Mm. But there's end to it. Mm-hmm. You know? And y- y- you see, it is good for us to draw our mind to, to the cross. Mm. 
I like it when you said fulfillment is not about us mm. until we realize that mm. quickly, then we will we'll get it right. Mm. Because uh, uh, um, if you look at the life of Jesus, it's not about himself. Mm. No. Look at it totally. It's not about himself. It wasn't. His ministry, the entire ministry. Mm. And he gave his own life for us. Mm. Finally, that is to seal it. Mm. He went through all that he went. Yeah. And look at his life. The process. Mm -hmm. While serving. Look at how the devil was planting plots mm. against him. That mm. someone in, 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 in their camp, the first 12, yeah. someone mm -hmm. decided because he chose that. Mm. He, he, he was deliberate about it. Mm -hmm. He chose to betray him. Mm -hmm. You know, thinking that would be the end. But it now opened doors to us, the Gentiles. Mm. So, so you can you can see how the evil will plot an evil against someone, thinking mm. they will end it, but they will end up doing good mm. to yeah. you. So that is why, for us that are doing good, let's mm. keep doing good mm -hmm. for people because this is the part we have chosen. Because mm. already Jesus Christ has set the standard. It's not about us. For you to find fulfillment in this life is not about you. That's mm. why I said it in the beginning. Mm. You are not created for yourself. Mm -hmm. You are just you are just you are just a tool that God decided to put certain things that someone will benefit. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we are, it's just that the human nature, you are just greedy. Mm -hmm. We are just greedy. We are selfish. And that is what the world is giving. Mm -hmm. And that's why they will keep pushing you. Mm -hmm. They will tell you, you, you don't have enough. Why are you giving? Mm -hmm. But the, 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 if you look at the entire thing, you don't even have it. It's not even yours. God yeah. can decide to today to you. give you everything and kill you. Mm -hmm. And God can decide not to give you, mm -hmm. but we give you that contentment, mm -hmm. that peace of mind. Yeah. So let's, Let's serve people with whatever we have. If you are successful in your career, know that the career is fetching you something mm -hmm. that you would that you will serve people <laughs> with mm -hmm. it. So we should understand that. Mm -hmm. I, if you don't have anything for the sake of career, maybe um, you are just a carpenter somewhere. You know, God has given you that work for you to generate something to help mm -hmm. somebody. You may not really be giving money. But you can just decide to be picking two people. I know some people that will say, can you give me two, three people in the community and I train them? Mm -hmm. you and understand? then finding fulfillment, and then, there yes. would always be obstacles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sure. There's so nothing yeah. good that happens without obstacles. Mm -hmm. So if you know that you want to find, you have to develop thick skin mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. Know that obstacles will come. Be willing to overcome it. From um, the illustration he gave, from... Jesus' disciples, they were people in his circle. In our modern day, we yeah. say they are mm -hmm. from his circle. So someone that believes in you, someone you think believes in you, may be that obstacle. Mm -hmm. So you should be able to stand above, rise above those obstacles and still have a fulfilling life. Yeah. And, and I don't know if I can Go ahead. Just, raise, um, just point some emphasis on time because we made mention of it, mm. time and then the finding out what that purpose is. Mm. Now, in as much as mm. nobody's time is the same with the other person's time, we also need to know that the clock is ticking. Mm. So you don't have all the time to mm. find your purpose. Mm. You don't have the time to relax, just as Jimmy laughed mm. about saying, what were you doing for those 20 years mm. that you, you did mm. not do it? Take time deliberately and keep answering the why am I here mm. question. That is, you're asking God, you're searching deep, just as Joy said. Ask, what are you here for? Mm. Take your time. Mm. Do a crash course with mm. God that you have to tell me what I'm here for or you have to do the digging. And then not to rush you, but know that you're operating within your time. At the same time, know that you don't have all the time mm. to take time. Mm. That's procrastination. Mm -hmm. So these are two things that you shouldn't joke with. Mm -hmm. Knowing what you're here for, that mm -hmm. is the thing that will eventually make you fulfill, and knowing that you don't have all the time to waste time in trying to live that fulfilled life. Mm, that's a great one, like mm -hmm. powerful discussion. Thank True. you all for doing this with You're me. Welcome. Thank you. And so, Marily, it's important that you identify who you really are. Let go of your unpleasant experiences. Most times we dwell on our mistakes. Mm. Let go of it. Take care of yourself. Find meaning at work. Be selective about the relationship you keep. It's also important that you are generous. Life does not revolve around you. You are not here to just meet your own needs alone. Seek help where there is need from professionals, from coaches, from people that are ahead of you and you look up to. And more importantly, you need to practice gratitude. Mm. Most times we focus on the problem more than what God has even done for us. That you are alive today 
it is the gift from God he has not given up on you. So like the psalmist said, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. So practice gratitude. And just to sum it up, Philippians 4, 4 to 9 says, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Thank you for staying with us on this edition of today's life. Until we come your way tomorrow, for the cast and crew, we say thank you. Thank you, Equa Executive, for this platform. We appreciate our supporters all over the world. We pray that God will bless you. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs>